Welcome to Fleet Maintenance Pro. The network version of Fleet Maintenance Pro can be configured in a variety of environments, including client server, peer-to-peer, -peer, and terminal server. Begin with the server installation and log in as an administrator with full access privileges. First, make a note of the host name of the server. To find your host name, go to the Start menu, right-click Computer, and choose Properties. The information is listed as computer name. Next, disable any antivirus software. Then, open the necessary ports in your firewall. Go to your control panel from the Start menu, and then Windows Firewall. From the list on the left, click Advanced Settings. In the middle section under View and Create Firewall Rules, choose Inbound Rules. Then click New Rule in the upper right corner. Choose the second option for port and specify the local ports 12010 and 12011. Leave the default option to allow the connection then the options for domain, private, and public network connections. Name your rule and you are finished. From the list on the left, follow the same steps to create an outbound rule. In most cases you will only need to open the ports on the server. If you experience connection issues with the clients, add inbound and outbound rules to the client workstation. Double-click the installer to start the process. Choose your installation language and Next. Then accept the license agreement. Choose your measurement system as US or metric. Next, you will choose which installation you wish for this computer. The programs are the files used to run Fleet Maintenance Pro. The data contains all of your fleet data. All computers on your network will access the same database. Select the client server option to install both the Fleet Maintenance Pro programs and data to the same PC. This option is common in peer-to-peer -peer environments when installing the host machine or the server in a terminal server environment. Select the client only option to install only the Fleet Maintenance Pro programs. This option is typically used for a workstation on a local area network where the data resides on a central server. The server installation must be performed prior to performing a client-only installation. This option does not install the data files. In later steps, you will point the client to the data on the server. For the server-only option, make sure that you are installing from the server. Follow this installation with client-only installations at each workstation computer. This option does not install the program files. Once you choose one of the installation methods, click Next. Here, you will choose the location where you wish to store the database. The default location is the root of the C drive. If you opted for the client-only or client-server installation, Next is the destination folder for the program files. Then the host name that you obtained in the first step. The defaults will add the program to your start menu and a shortcut on your desktop for easy access. At this point, you may need to reboot your computer to complete the installation process. If you have purchased the optional security module, enter the default username, capital IMS, and the default password, 
lowercase ims user. If at any point after the installation you wish to change your network configuration, you may do so from within the program. Go to the Tools menu and then Options. Click on the Network tab, make any desired changes, and click OK. For help getting started with your software, visit mtcpro.com for tutorials, knowledge base articles, and videos.